Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffy, this here from Sunny Cyprus and welcome to today's tutorial. Now, if you're a Teams user, whether you're a class teacher or you use Teams for whatever other purpose, I'm sure at some point you wanted to export a list of all the members from a particular team into a list like a CSV file so that you can use either the names or the email addresses, maybe to send an email to all the members of a team or maybe just to use it as a mail merge. Now, especially for email, emailing all the members of a team, there is an actual way that we can actually do that. If it's a class team, I'm gonna have a link to the tutorial in the description, but if it's any other kind of team, let's say a staff, a PLC or other, you can't. But with this method, you can. Now, this method actually requires a piece of code, which I did not generate. This is a, a code developed by Gion Maya. I'm gonna put a link to his GitHub down in the description and you need to make sure that you view your Microsoft team in your browser, not the application. And that's basically it. The rest is simply a matter of copy paste and hitting the enter key. So let's get started with this very, very quickly because this is gonna be a short tutorial. Here I am, I'm in my browser and I've opened, I've logged into 365 and I've actually opened Microsoft Teams. This is the team I'm going to be using, okay? Um, so the first thing I need to do is to display all the members of the team. And to do that, I'm going to go to my team name, click on the dot, 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 and I'm going to go to manage team. This is going to open up the area where I can actually add uh, members to this team or remove them. The next step, which is important, I need to expand the list of members. So I'm going to click on this little arrow here, and that's going to open up all the members of this team. There's 26 of them. Now, if you've got a, a team with many members in, like I have a, a couple of teams that have got over a thousand uh, members, you need to scroll all the way down to the very bottom so that your browser actually loads the information of every single member. So in this case, I can't see all 26. I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I get to the very, very end of this list. And this is key. Otherwise, you will not be able to export all the members. So you need to scroll from here, where you've got your members, just scroll all the way down. If it's a long list, keep scrolling till you get to the very, very last member of that list. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now you can see here, I've got a whole load of uh, training accounts and uh, temporary accounts um, just for the purpose of this, um, this tutorial. Now you don't have to be at the bottom, you can go to the top. The fact that you've actually loaded all the members, that's what's important. Now, the next step, is we need to copy a code. So I've got the code here. Let me just load this up. This is the code you're going to use. Now, you don't need to know anything about this code. You don't need to modify it. All you need to do is to simply copy paste it and save it somewhere for whenever you need to export a list of members. Now, again, this code was developed by Guillaume Meyer. Again, his uh, link to his GitHub is down below in the description. But all you have to do is select all, I'm just gonna do this this way. Um, I'm gonna to go to select all or control A, and then you can just right click copy or control C any way you want. Just copy this code. Okay, I've actually got this uh, as a text file stored on my OneDrive where I can find it very, very easily and from anywhere. Now that I've copied the code, all I have to do is right click somewhere on this page. So I'm gonna right click in this area here, which is empty. And I'm going to go down here where it says inspect. OK, and you get this uh, this inspection window here. Now, at the top, we can see different types of uh, views that we can have memory application elements console. We want to click on console. So if console is not part of the list at the top, all you have to do is click on this little double arrow here and it will be listed here if it's not here. My one's actually here, so I'm going to click on console. You're going to see sometimes this is going to be stationary. Sometimes it's going to keep loading. That's not an issue. All we have to do is just go all the way down to here at the very bottom where we can see the insertion point blinking, click in here and then paste the code that we copied. So I'm going to press control V and then I'm just going to hit enter. There we go. We can see it's just downloaded another version of this uh, CSV file. I had some already downloaded here. And all I have to do now, if I go to my downloads folder, there it is, it's just downloaded it for me. So all I have to do now is double click to view my file. And here's my file. So if I just expand these columns quickly, 
we can see it's actually downloaded the name, the display name of all the members. It's got their title. So if you've got that information stored in your 365 portal, uh, location, if you've got different sites and you've got that information there, their role in the team, whether they're owners or members, and more importantly, their email address. So I can select this list now, paste this in the to section or CC section of a new email and email everybody who's a member of that particular team. I can use this information like their first name to generate class lists or whatever other list you want to do. It's entirely up to you um, why you wanted to create a list of members in the first place. But that's it. There really isn't anything else to this. It's just a matter of keeping this code somewhere where you can find it easily, copy paste it in the console section when you press uh, inspect, right click inspect on your browser, and that's it. So if you found this useful, you just had an aha moment, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.